Hello, Colors. Welcome back to another episode of Viva Barca, where we are going to be discussing on three stories, three fresh reports. We are going to start with Frankie de Jong, as it has been reported by recent reports that um, Barcelona have put 80 million euro valuation on the Manchester United target. Secondly, we are going to be talking about Robert Lewandowski, as it has been reported that Bayern are yet to respond to Barcelona's 32 million euro offer for Lewandowski. And finally, we are going to be talking about Usman Dembele, as it has been reported that Dembele is nearing a PSG move. Of course, all these days, PSG have been, you know, getting in contact with Dembele over a possible move. We are going to be discussing on that as well. So guys, as we get right into those stories in more detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give the video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Barcelona are currently in the need of making a few big sales this summer in order to get themselves in a solid position to invest in new players ahead of the next season. Philippe Coutinho has already been sold to Aston Villa for a fee of 20 million euros and if widespread reports are to be believed, midfielder Frankie de Jong could be on the next one, you know, be on the next move to make his way out of Barcelona. The 25-year-old's future has been a topic of intense transfer speculations for a long time now. And even though manager Xavi Hernandez insists that the Dutchman has a place in his side, the club legend has acknowledged that the club's financial situation could force a sale. Manchester United have been showing a strong interest in the young as their new manager, Eric Den Haag, is keen on a reunion. The Dutch tactician worked with a midfielder at Ajax and got the best out of him before his transfer to Barcelona. Ten Hag is pushing for Manchester United to raid Barcelona for the young. At the same time, Ligue 1 champions Paris Saint-Germain have also entered the race to sign the 25-year-old midfielder, according to Mundo Deportivo. Fresh after retaining the services of Kylian Mbappe, the French heavyweights are pushing to add more quality to their roster and see the Barca mainstay as a viable target for the upcoming transfer window. And the report states that Barcelona would demand a minimum of 80 million euros for the young amidst a strong interest from Manchester United and PSG. Reports in France also indicate that the young himself could be open to the prospect of moving to the Parc des Princes as he would be delighted to play with Mbappe and Lionel Messi again following the confirmation of his contract extension. The 80 million euro valuation should not be an issue for Manchester United or PSG either if they are serious about adding the young to their roster. The latter might have, had, might have an advantage though given that they will be playing Champions League football unlike United. So Frankie the Young's future can cease to, you know, to be a subject of speculation. And uh, since Eric Ten Hag moved to Manchester United, of course, the rumors started coming in and of course as we stand right now the truth is Barcelona will receive any reasonable offer right now for the young like the 80 million euros that we're talking about if it comes you know it has been reported that Barcelona are very open are very much open to an offer of 80 million for the young and uh, I know it's gonna be a very very disappointing thing to happen in case Barca sell the young but uh, at the end of the day, it is all about the economic situation of the club that forced them to make that decision. So as it stands right now, it is very, very unlikely to see the young again for Barca next season. Because as it stands, the 80 million euros that Barca have put on the young's head, you know, either Manchester United and Paris Saint-Germain, one of them must pay that money. And the fact that they have the means, unlike Barca, it won't be a problem to, for them because they know the quality that the young possesses so as a Barca fan i hope the young stays but from the look of things and from the reality of things 
the young is unlikely to be at Barca next season. And Barca, with their desperate need of money right now, they will be open for a potential sale for Frankie the Young. So let's see how the upcoming weeks will look like in, you know, when it comes to Frankie the Young's future at Barcelona. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona have submitted their first official offer for Bayern Munich forward Robert Lewandowski with journalist Florian Plattenberg confirming that the opening bid is worth 32 million euros plus an additional 5 million euros in add on. Lewandowski, 33, has publicly admitted that he wishes to leave Germany after eight successful seasons with Bayern, but since he still has a valid contract until 2023, it's proving rather difficult not only for the player but also for Barcelona to proceed. You know, Barcelona were initially hoping to get his this this deal done at a rather lower price, but Bayern's reluctance to do business has forced them to stretch the budget. As of today, the aforementioned 32 million euros plus an additional 5 million euros remain their only bid on the table. Meanwhile, although Bayern have released a statement saying that they want Lewandowski to respect his contract, Plattenberg says the player has already had two video calls with Bayern manager with Barcelona manager Xavi. During the virtual meet, Xavi put forward the entire blueprint, explaining to the Poland striker how he wishes to use him at Camp Nou, while also highlighting Barca's needs, Barca's needs to sign an experienced number 9. It's interesting to note that, as his agent Pini Zahavi has said before, the Swiss is not at all motivated by the finances. If anything, the 33 year old will rather be, t be taking a pay cut to don the royal blue for Barcelona. Amidst all this, a lot has been said during the last few weeks in this entire Lewandowski Barca fiasco. First, Bayern Munich sporting director Hassan Salihamvidic said that the German champions had made an offer to Lewandowski to which Zahavi instantly disagreed. No, there was no such offer. Zahavi was quoted as saying by Sky Germany as part of his response. On the contrary, Lewandowski's decision to leave is rather motivated by the lack of respect he has been getting from Bayern's officials. And so, the situation has gone down to the extent that the debacle is now turning into an ugly field. But in any way, this is helping Barcelona's cause. And the more the player will push for an exit, the better it will be for Barcelona. Then on to the final story of discussion. A host of Barcelona players had played the last game for the club during the final day affair against Villarreal on Sunday. And it appears Usman Dembele was one of them, according to Dario Sport. The Spanish news outlet has offered an update on Barcelona's effort to renew the contract of the Frenchman suggesting the player has one and a half feet outside Barcelona. Barcelona were never hopeful of renewing the terms for Dembele, which is why the club were keen on offloading him in January transfer window. But thanks to Javi's fate in the winger, coupled with the player's explosive performances during the second half of the campaign, the two parties tried their hand at negotiations once again. After months of negotiations though, Neither of the two parties is willing to make the complete sacrifice. And from Barca's end, the saga is, good, is as good as over, as the terms they are offering are very distant from what Dembele's representative is demanding. Barcelona never really had a good relationship with Musa Sissoko, Dembele's agent, to begin with. His exorbitant commission fees are said to be a key factor behind the club's um, failure to crop up an agreement over a renewal. Even without the agent commissions, Dembele's wage demands remain high and quite unaffordable as far as Barcelona are concerned. For this reason, Barcelona are prepared to bid Dembele a farewell. After five years of service, they are set to move on by targeting Leeds United superstar Rafinha, with a club reportedly willing to pay 40 million euros for the Brazilian services. As for Dembele, he should find no shortage of suitors this summer despite his exorbitant wage demands. PSG are already considering the Frenchman as a potential replacement for Angel de Maria, who is set to leave the club on a free transfer. Chelsea are involved in the race as well, with Thomas Tuchel keen on a potential reunion at Stamford Bridge after giving Dembele his Bundesliga breakthrough at Borussia Dortmund. So, colors, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please endeavor to do so. So, you always stay in touch with the latest NFC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye. Awesome.